sure in the hell know George Floyd. You sure in the hell know Michael Brown. You know Trayvon Martin. But you don't even know these seniors. One was 88 years old. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, go through and go shopping. These hats, Father's Matter, is the they, they sold out within 24 hours. We're getting them back in stock. They'll be here later this month. I think around the 20th we'll get those back in stock. Uh, Jesus is Lord, probably the same time. But uh, we should get the Father's Matter shirts in this week. We're going to try to get them in. We're trying to get them to you before Father's Day. So keep an eye on it. And also I got to let you guys know uh, – our system, the Notify Me Made Available, had an error on Father's Matter. So if you already clicked on it, go back and click on Father's Matter and click Notify Me Made Available. So when we get these hats back in stock, you can click the Notify and we will hit you up as soon as we get them. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live and make a video, make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. I wish that celebrity black leaders would... I, it's, it's weird to me. Oprah... Jay-Z, Beyonce, all these people who are billionaires, why don't they push and spend all of their time challenging and helping black people in the black community? Because all this pointing the finger at the white man ain't never done. What, what has that done for you? Nothing. You could tell these young people, hey, man, pull your pants up. Hey, and don't, don't walk around like that. You know, act like you got some sense. If you want people to treat you right, then you got to act right. If you want people to treat you with respect, you need to respect yourself. If you want the white man to respect you, you need to respect your brother. Why are you killing your brother? Why are you out here dogging out your brother? Why are you dogging your sister? You claim you love black women and you out here cheating on them and trying to do all kind of stuff to them. No loyalty. Leave them single with your kid. Don't go see the kid. Don't talk about white people if you ain't addressing that. And it's not just for black people because I know people – always getting their feelings when I say stuff. You always talking about black people. You always talking about... I'm talking about people in general. I just so happen to be black my whole life and I so happen to grow up in a black community so I don't know what white people be doing. I'm just giving my own personal experience from the things that I've seen. We could really change the world. We could really change the inner city communities if black people would say, let's stop focusing on everything else and only focus on black people. Let's stop focusing on who did what and what president. Uh, vote in a, if every black person voted for a black president, we'll have another, we, we could potentially have another black president. But instead, they vote for Joe Biden, a racist white man. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. We'll, we'll talk about that later on. Um, Joyce from Houston, Texas, welcome to the Austin Tatum Show. Thank you. I, I, I just want to say you are just a blessing. You know, when Carl was on, I thought he was a replacement, and so it came up that you were going to come on that Monday. I said, well, I guess I'll go back to my uh, 6 o'clock program that I was looking at before. Let me tell you, I haven't turned the dial yet. And this, <laughs> and this nation needs the wisdom. And you're a young man. And, you know, officer, I go to senior citizen meetings, and they they. They, they voted for Biden, and they are still into this Biden. They don't see they don't see anything wrong, and they'll sit there and they'll talk negative about uh, about the uh, Trump. And I said, "What is wrong with my people? I'm 89 years old. Some of them are older than me, and and we're still blaming the white man. And I get so tired." of us blaming the white man. White man is not our problem. We are our problem. We kill more of each other than any other group. In my community, there are black seniors that have been broken in and murdered. You don't even know their name. But you sure in the hell know George Floyd. You sure in the hell know Michael Brown. You know Trayvon Martin. But you don't even know these seniors. One was 88 years old. Her next-door neighbor beat her to death with a hammer and a toaster. You don't even know her name. And this is where we are in the black community. And it's the black ministers tell us from the pulpit officer 
that we are supposed to vote Democrat. Well, I left the Democrat, the white liberal Democrat plantation many years ago, and I have not missed one second of leaving the plantation. And I just don't understand how my people can see where we are. We see nice communities in Houston. They are ghettos today. And we are still going to the polls voting Democrat. I don't know what to do. Joyce, you, you, are, you are a blessing to me, to the audience, and I thank you so much for the call. My God, I, 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 I am, I feel slightly vindicated because I am a young man. I'm in my early 30s, and to hear a woman in her 80s, I mean, you talk about the generational gap, say the exact same thing that I feel, it's, it, it feels vindicating. It's like, I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not lost out here. I know that there's more people that have been through a lot, that have been here on earth for a lot longer than me, that can see that we used to not be like this. Our communities used to not act like this. Our young people used to not see themselves the way we see ourselves today. And to see people still voting for Democrats. And I, I have a little mercy on them, the younger generation, because they're new to it. But like our caller Joy said, the older generation, the senior generation, how if you live this long, you got way more evidence than I do that Democrats ain't never done nothing for black people. So I want to thank you, Joyce, for calling in. My God, that was one of my favorite calls.